आईआईटी खड़गपुर ने हाल ही में अपने लीडरशिप समिट 2020 का आयोजन किया और इस चर्चा में संस्थान के कई प्रमुख पूर्व छात्रों ने हिस्सा लिया प्रोग्राम का संचालन मेरा नाव की न्यूज एडिटर तनवी शुक्ला ने किया एलुमेनाई ने भारतीय अर्थव्यवस्था पर कोविड के प्रभाव तकनीक के भविष्य और फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन पर भी चर्चा की Abhishek here from Students Alumni Cell IIT Khadakpur welcoming you all to the second session of the prestigious Leadership Summit 2020 a legacy to cherish it's been a week since the successful completion of the first session of our summit and here we are back with the same spark that ignites a revolution the same thought that escalates motivation and the same journey that entails dedication so once again today we will witness the richly celebrated legacy of some of the most eminent personalities that our institute has developed over the years और आईआईटी खड़गपुर के एलिमनाय और आरबीआई के पूर्व गवर्नर डी सुबाराव ने अर्थव्यवस्था बैंक और फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम पर महामारी के प्रभाव पर बात की साथ ही उन्होंने महामारी से बुरी तरह से प्रभावित एमएसएमईस को कई बहुमूल्य सुझाव भी दिए आइए सुनते हैं हाउ शुड वी मैनेज दिस फ्रॉम हियर ऑन एज़ वी ट्राई टू रीस्टार्ट द इकॉनमी एज द बैंक्स आर आस्क्ड टू लेंड मोर देयर ऑब्वियसली अ रिस्क अवर्स ड्यूरिंग दैट इज देयर अ कंसर्न ऑफ हाउ वी हैंडल इट राइट नाउ Oh, it most certainly a concern. Uh, what we must recognize that uh, we had a problem even as we entered the crisis. It's not as if we were in the our economy was in the pink of health that we entered the crisis, right? If you throw your mind back to last year, our growth was declining. We had high fiscal deficits, and most importantly, for the purpose of this discussion, our financial system was in a bad shape. NPS were high, you know, and because of the efforts of the Reserve Bank of India. the government of india and banks over the last several years we thought we were coming to grips with the npa problem when the covid crisis hit us what we do know for certain is that the large corporates big industries have been able to withstand the shock and come out of it but the small industries the medium industries the msme sector and the informal economy they have not been able to withstand the shock it is the msme sector that has largely accessed the restructuring and the moratorium offered by the commercial banks and by the reserve bank of india so we don't know the true npa picture right now because of the forbearance given by the reserve bank of india आईआईटी खड़गपुर ने मेरा नाव के साथ साझेदारी में अपने लीडरशिप समिट 2020 का आयोजन किया और इस चर्चा में संस्थान के कई प्रमुख पूर्व छात्रों ने भी हिस्सा लिया प्रोग्राम का संचालन मेरा नाव की न्यूज एडिटर तनवी शुक्ला ने किया आपको बता दें कि आईआईटी खड़गपुर के एलुमनाई सयान दास ने फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन में चैलेंज और संभावनाओं को लेकर बात की और कहा कि रुकावटें हमेशा ग्राहकों को फायदा पहुँचाती हैं decreasing the inequalities in a system or are we still far from that you know you know uh, my my personal view is that you know uh, uh, technology always helps uh, you know uh, despite the uh, sort of um, skeptical approach uh, sometimes uh, we have both individually and uh, collectively in the country so any technology uh, uh, even though it's disruptive in the beginning uh, in the long run it is definitely beneficial uh, for uh, consumers in particular uh, and uh, you know uh, also uh, in the short run as well the people uh, who are disrupted are the producers and not the consumers so uh, it is the providers who suffer disruption in the short run uh, and uh, it only encourages competition expands the market and it's only good for the consumer और मेरा नाव की न्यूज एडिटर तनवी शुक्ला द्वारा संचालित इस चर्चा में मॉगलिक्स की वाइस प्रेसिडेंट जॉयजीत मैती ने इनोवेशन डिजिटलाइजेशन और ऑन्ट्रप्रनोरशिप के साथ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के भविष्य पर भी प्रकाश डाला जॉयजीत ने इस बात पर भी जोर दिया कि आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस किस तरह से भारतीय ऑन्ट्रप्रनोर्स को प्रभावित कर सकता है so the uh, main application or potential application of ai i see particularly if i uh, uh, talk about from e-commerce perspective uh, personalization of the ui or the shopping experience uh, particularly if any user logs in and what he or she gets to see on the screen uh, 
that personalization of the content that is one of the key application area and uh, the next biggest application area is the chatbot how we are engaging with the customers yeah. so uh, as we see i mean we are going to towards more self serve type of e-commerce self serve means the customers don't interact with anyone from the company or uh, anyone from the sales rep but the customers is uh, shopping on his own but still in india as uh, i all of us we understand how consumers behavior we need little bit of assistance and that assistance is something is kind of unique to indian market and how we provide that assistance in a very sustainable organizational structure that has been the main uh, you know discussion point and uh, you know challenging for many entrepreneurs so chatbot that is why is becoming very very fundamental uh, to that sustainable growth and ai is the enabler for that chatbot what kind of question that customers can ask what point in time at what sales stage और साथ ही कई अलमनाए ने इनोवेशन डिजिटलाइजेशन और ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप पर चर्चा के दौरान आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के दुष्प्रभावों पर भी बात की What's your sense? This balance and the fear of what technology leads to versus the benefits. Yeah, so Tanvi, I think that's a very, very interesting point. You know, uh, when we talk about AI, machine learning, artificial intelligence, uh, we talk about how can artificial intelligence solve problems for us and solve them at scale. And artificial intelligence, AI is very good when you have a lot of data. Uh, AI is good at crunching the data and you know figuring out uh, good ways of learning. You know, adaptive learning uh, and and. You know, the ultimate goal for AI, of course, is you know, can AI uh, do everything that humans can do? Can they replace humans? And uh, there's more that's going to happen as AI takes over. And uh, this is this is something which we have to live with. Now, the question is, how do we deal with this? How do we deal with this at an individual level, at a corporate level? And what policies does the government need to make to make sure that people who are going to go out of jobs can be reskilled and retrained? So yes, there will be unemployment. There will be impact on people, especially on people who are in unskilled and semi-skilled kind of jobs. And there is an urgent need for us to look at uh, you know retraining and reskilling people so that they're ready for the new kind of jobs that AI will bring.